your stomach turns, then the sudden pain along with the nausea. You, my friend, have the stomach flu. And guess what? We haven't even hit the peak season yet. Today on Tomorrow Live, we're going to share ways you can avoid the nasty bug, learn if there's a remedy if you do get it, and where it spreads the quickest. Another stomach bug that can also be fatal is this, E. coli. And that's what's being blamed in the death of 20-month-old Colton Quay and sending 17-month-old Miles Hershaft to the hospital. They could have been exposed to unpasteurized milk, contaminated le lettuce or vegetables, uh, un undercooked meat. There are all kinds of things that can carry the organism that causes this illness. Find out what is being blamed as the source of the illness and how your little ones can avoid it. Something else you want to avoid, wasting money. So what do you do if your coffee pot, your leaf blower, or even your laptop stops working? Should you toss it and buy new? Angie Hicks tells us what to do. If you recycle, turns out you can be doing it all wrong. Find out what should be landing on this belt and what definitely should not. This woman's starting a movement of getting kids' butts off the couch and onto a bike. Bikes and kids do go together. And then you throw in taking them into the outdoors and you've just got a magical combination. And I'm gonna be telling you about an event that celebrates people's differences and brings them together for a night of song, dance, and spoken word. It's the second annual piece of praise. You don't wanna miss it. And we're in the Del Marva Life Kitchen bringing the flavors of the South North. Today, learn how to make a barbecue shrimp appetizer. Del Marva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marva Live from Historic Studio D. And you know, we really don't delve into politics here mm -hmm. on Del Marva Life. We kind of stay away from it, but something caught my attention from the Democratic, uh, I guess, their debate the right. other night that everyone is talking about. There's a hubbub over former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, and it has nothing to do with his stance on guns. It, it's more about his guns. <laughs> <laughs> Online publications like Mashable and BuzzFeed and countless tweets lit up about the former Maryland governor's looks. He's being called the hot dad, among other things. Oh, my. That can't be repeated on a family okay, show. Yeah, yeah, I've been reading hmm. all this stuff. In fact, someone tweeted this picture saying, quote, but will they take away O'Malley's guns? Referring to his <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And this shirtless picture of O'Malley jumping into freezing water at the annual polar bear plunge is getting a whole lot of buzz as well. Man, well, I gotta tell you, he's in a lot better shape than I would've thought he was. I guess Man, not too many people knew about him. But you know what, you brought up cold water. While we're talking about cold water, that's what Salisbury Police Chief Barbara Duncan and other police officers did yesterday to save a man. Salisbury PD tweeted this picture yesterday after the chief She's the one there in the white shirt towards the bottom. She made the rescue yeah. in the Wicomico River. How about that? Great job, guys. Yeah, Great above job. and beyond. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talk about police all the time, and Maryland State Police will gather at the Princess Anne Barrick tomorrow to mark the 20th anniversary of the death of Trooper First Class Edward Plank Jr. You may remember Plank was shot and killed after stopping two drug smugglers along Route 13 in Somerset County leaving behind his wife and seven-month-old daughter. Oh, I just remember that ago. like it was yesterday. Yeah, and to think that his seven-month-old is now... 20. 20. Yeah, how about that? Wow. Well, several local officials plan to take part in Easton's 33rd Annual Mayor's Prayer Breakfast next week. Among other guest speakers will be Clay Stamp. You recognize yeah. Clay here. He's the Director of Emergency Services and Assistant County Manager for Talbot County now. For a while, Stamp was a, the Jim Cantori... <laughs> of the Eastern Shore. When you saw him on TV, you knew bad weather was coming up the coast. Mayor's Prime Breakfast in Easton is going to be Friday, October 23rd at 7 o'clock in the morning at the Tidewater Inn in Easton. Cost, $10 bill for each person. Seating is limited. If you want to know more about it, give them a call. You'll talk to Kathy Ruff at 410-822-822. 2525. Okay, so let's stay in Easton. The catwalk will be lit with, and the models will be dressed in fall fashion for this year's Festival of Trees fashion show. It's all to benefit Talbot Hospice. The event includes dinner, a runway style presentation of fashions and accessories from local businesses, auctions, and of course more. If you want to go, it is tomorrow night, beginning at 6 at the Milestone in Easton. If you want some more information and to make reservations, call 410-819-FEST. Okay, so Halloween is only two weeks away, two and you weeks? know what that means. Well, uh, yeah. Christmas shopping. <laughs> uh, the 29th annual Christmas gift and craft show sponsored by Quota International Salisbury is next weekend. Santa's going to be there. 
and kids can get a free book. Uh, they've got a new preview sale on Friday that's only a dollar to get in. Then Saturday and Sunday, it's only five bucks to get in. 150 crafters and local vendors with everything from wooden toys, ceramics, hats, scarves, candles, wreaths and flower arrangements to baskets and jewelry. That is a huge fall tradition yes. here in Salisbury. And another fall tradition in Sussex County actually kicked off today. The 2015 Rehoboth Beach Jazz Festival. It runs through Sunday. Performances will be held at several venues throughout the Rehoboth Beach area. And a free outdoor family concert is scheduled for Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Grandstand. If you want some more information, including times, venues, performers, just go to our website, WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. If blues more your style, the Central Delaware Blues Society presents the second battle of the blues bands, a three band blues. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt that, it sounds so good. <laughs> a three-band blues battle for the opportunity to represent the society at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis in 2016. The lineup includes the Billy Pierce Band, the Georgie Bond Band, and Anthony Swamp Dog Clark. Now, the local competition kicks off Sunday, October 18th at noon at Jonathan's Landing in Magnolia. Tickets are 15 bucks, and you can get them at the door. Uh, may maybe you're more of a polka person. Perhaps, I don't know, the town of Snow Hill is hosting an Oktoberfest this weekend featuring Frank Nana's cow polkas. <laughs> In addition to the music, you'll find German style food featuring Schaller and Weber Bratwurst and vice versa and a beer garden plus they're going to have arts and craft vendors along uh -huh. the streets. Uh, Snow Hills Oktoberfest is Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Green Street in front of the old firehouse. So here's yeah. a question for you. I want you to think about this. What do you do? when you want to get on a horse that's a lot bigger than you. Step ladder? Try this. First, you get the horse's attention with a little treat. You put that little treat on the ground. Mm -hmm. When the horse bends over to get the treat, you get yourself a good grip. Then, when the horse oh. raises his neck up, <laughs> you just hang on for dear life as the elevator goes up, work your way around, slide back down to where you ought to be, and say giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> as cute as it may seem, our little ones really have to be very careful when it comes to being around livestock. The concern? E. coli. Up next on Del Marva Life, we'll find out just how serious an infection of the bacteria can be, including the sad story of Pete, these two little boys. Plus, who is most at risk and steps you can take to try to prevent an illness. Well, the norovirus can also make you sick, nasty sick, and its peak season is on the way. We're going to hear some do's and don'ts when it comes to protecting yourself and your loved ones. And this woman is trying to protect our kids from the streets, and she's getting on her bike to do it. Hear how she and her trips for kids are changing lives. And I'm pretty sure what we're making in the Del Marva Life Kitchen today is going to change my life. Thank you very much. Hope you're hungry. Hope you're not hungry so I can have all of it. We are <laughs> whooping up a Nolens style barbecue shrimp appetizer. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Hertrick Family of Automobile Dealerships, your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 